Hi, this is Pulin Desai, uh, Product Marketing Director, Imaging and Vision Group at Cadence. Uh, today we are here at CES 2017. Uh, we are demonstrating our Vision DSP. Uh, it's highly programmable, uh, high performance, uh, uh, low uh, energy product uh, design for imaging, computer vision and neural network application. This DSP uh, uh, can be used for mobile markets, this DSP can be used for the automotive market, this DSP can also be used for the uh, uh, security camera market and a or AR VR camera uh, market. Uh, today uh, we are demonstrating this uh, Vision DSP on an FPGA. This FPGA is running at 50 megahertz in real uh, implementation of Vision DSP. Uh, it will run from 500 to 1 gigahertz. So you are looking at about uh, 110 to 120 of the real life uh, uh, SOC and you will see that it can still perform a very very good uh, um, uh, it, it can still provide you a very good performance of this algorithm. Um, uh, today on this FPGA we, we have a, our Vision P6 DSP. This Vision P6 DSP was announced at, at uh, Emirated Vision uh, Summit in 2016 uh, and that was uh, a 4x the performance compared to our previous generation Vision P for uh, CNN and the Mac heavy uh, application. Uh, on this particular platform, uh, we are working with a company called Urmi Systems, and Urmi System has uh, uh, developed uh, um, uh, this uh, stereo um, uh, algorithm, uh, which is uh, based on semi-global matching uh, algorithm. Over here, you are looking at uh, this uh, camera, left and right uh, camera that shows project left and right image, and uh, based on the left and right image, the algorithm uh, detects the the depth map um, of uh, uh, the image so the different um, uh, different um, uh, color represents the different depth that this camera is showing so this uh, vision dsp is processing this uh, uh, depth image um, this is uh, the, the disparity between left and right image on this uh, uh, fpga platform this uh, technology that you're looking here is a stereo uh, technology so you, there is no active illumination going on so there are other technology like for time of light and and uh, structure light and things like that where you have active uh, illumination going on um, uh, uh, or near IR uh, type of light uh, used versus there is no uh, active illumination going on this is passive um, and for mobile or any type of application uh, low power application uh, stereo technology like this could provide you a very good performance so, so thank you very much for watching our uh, the video today